Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. I hope everyone is well. It's Friday, so those of you who have been here before know what that means. It's time for the weekend top and bottom of the deck reading. For those of you who are new here, don't know how we do this, I'll very quickly explain it. I go by the elements. It is now cancer season. Cancer is a water element. Water elements will go first and I'll go around the wheel that way. It just makes for a shorter read, so I'm quite frankly not putting people to sleep. Okay. Just like a regular Zodiac reading. If it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do. The message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Cross watchers are always welcome. That's pretty much the gist of it. So, without further ado, we're going to get right into this. Try to make it short as sweet as possible. Whatever comes out, comes out. All right, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, what's going on with you guys this weekend? One, two more shuffles. Here. Oh, wow. Okay. Four of Swords in the reverse. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody's getting a little bit restless about that seed that never took. Okay. Wow. Tis the season, I guess. Let's rewind a little bit. King of Cups in the reverse, Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Okay. One of the both of you could have been emotionally closed off to it, ignoring feelings. This may have led to a downward cycle of events. Karmic connection, possibly. Okay. One of those weird soulmate things. Right on. Okay. Fast forward a little. Ace of Swords in the reverse. Three of Swords in the reverse. There was a loss of communication, cut off in communication. I don't think you were that heartbroken about it. I really don't. I think you just let it be. In the moment. Okay. What's coming up? The Hermit and the Four of Cups. Four of Cups is in the reverse. A little bit of introspection time, possibly? Going inside, finding that inner light. Maybe that spiritual awakening's happening this weekend. Maybe you finally come to the realization that you ignored, or the other person, you know, one of you, if not both of you, you ignored what the universe tried to hand you for whatever reason. Okay. A little bit of clarity. Can I get some clarity on the Wheel of Fortune reversed, please? Secrets. Huh. The unknown. 
There may have been too many unknowns. Might have been a Pisces you were dealing with. Could have been a Virgo. I got a little bit of everybody on the board right now. The only one I don't have on the board is fire. Except, you know, the Wheel of Fortune deals with all the fixed signs, so Leo's in there somewhere. Could have been. If you keep in track of that, that is. The moon card could indicate that at the time you weren't supposed to know why. Hmm, okay. Time passes. Why is the Four of Cups reversed here? Fool. Hmm. Okay. One more. The lover's reversed. Welcome to your awakening. Well, in regards to this, your aha moment, I should just say welcome to your aha moment. Mm-hmm. This weekend, some of you might be asking yourself, well, why didn't it work out? The connection's still there. Some of you may decide to say, what the hell, and seek this person out. See what could come of it. Okay. You may bump into them. Ask yourself, what the heck, why not? All right, let's get some advice. The King of Pentacles in the upright and the Temperance in the reverse. Oh, if all is well, let it be. Don't disturb energy flow. Judging by the, the Four of Swords in the reverse and the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, things may not all be well in the moment. Don't disturb your flow. And don't disturb theirs. Things are well. Let them be well. Five of Wands in the upright and the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Argumentative energy. I may have to read four together. That doesn't make sense. Ah, okay. The Three of Cups and the Seven of Swords pops out. Okay, this makes more sense now. Going back to If All Is Well, Let It Be. Avoid getting yourself into a situation where third parties and third parties and secrets and codependency and arguments. Avoid this situation. If all is well, just let it be. There was a reason. Don't go searching. That was weird. That took an interesting turn. Okay.
We'll see if further energy comes out about that next weekend. Or on Monday. Oh. I'm not going to beat a dead horse today, guys. Okay. My fire sign friends, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, what's in it for you this weekend? Page of Pentacles in the reverse. King of Cups in the reverse. Hmm. Somebody's not apologizing. Completely ignoring their feelings. Complete closure off. Okay. That makes sense. Rewind. Ace of Cups and the Lovers. Soulmate connection. It was new. It was fresh. It was different. And it was supposed to mean something. Connection was very mutual. We'll get clarity on that in a minute, possibly. Depends on what the rest of the cards say. Remember, soulmate connections are meant to teach you something often. They are not always meant to stay. Fast forward. Two of Wands, King of Pentacles. Someone was left with a choice to move forward or to hang on to the past. Let me find out where that King of Pentacles is here. Could have been an earth sign you were dealing with. Possibly a Gemini. Possibly an Aries. Hmm. It's interesting. Into this weekend. Oh, okay. The Five of Swords and the Chariot. Picking up the pieces. Putting distance between it. Could be emotional, could be physical. Possibly a cancer you're dealing with. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Ten of Swords. That's what held you back from a stunning offer of abundance. You may have had swords in your back about something else. Cycle not closed out. Why is the lovers here? Got 
too. Ten of Wands, Five of Pentacles reversed. Cold releasing a burden. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Emperor. Could have been Marys you were dealing with. Why the Emperor? Ten of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Okay. It was new, it was fresh, it was different. There's a solid foundation there. And you're emotionally fulfilled. You were a soulmate. You were able to release burdens. Oh, okay. Fast forward. You had to move on from this. Another stunning offer comes along. But you still got swords in your back. Why is the Ten of Swords reversed here? Twin Wands. Another fire sign card. It could be a Leo. Forward movement. And somebody took an offer off the table. Someone couldn't move forward. That could be the soulmate lesson you were supposed to learn. Why is the Five of Swords here? Justice. Picking up pieces. Allowing things to balance back out. Possibly a Libra. Finally regaining your footing. Flippers. Well, Six of Wands and the Queen of Swords reversed, huh? Victory after the battle. Not the most positive of attitudes about it, but the victory after the battle. Why is the chariot here? Oh, my fire sign friends. The chariot is the go in the distance card. Emotional distance, physical distance. Trudging off on your own. Six of swords. Yup. You've decided to move forward from this. You're putting distance between. This is two different people.
Fire signs, I'll say it a thousand times. You can't ignore your feelings. Because they will come back to bite you. You're moving on from it this weekend, though. You finally decided enough's enough. You're picking up the pieces and you're charging on. Your advice. Six of Cups reversed and the Queen of Cups in the upright. Mm. This left you with a salty taste in your mouth indeed, possibly. Some bad memories. But this is the Queen of Cups holding two cups. You gotta process this. You have to dump out the emotions that you no longer want, and you have to hold your cup up for the emotions that you do want. You're the one in control of this and how it continues to make you feel. Maybe time to purge. Sun in the reverse and the Eight of Cups in the reverse. The sun is not going to shine again until you allow this dis disconnection and you move on. You will continue to repeat the same pattern over and over and over again until you close this one out. That's how I'm seeing that fire sign, friends. Pick up dust off! Or as my grandmother used to say, you fall off the bike, you have two options. Pick up, dust off, get back in the bike and ride or pick up dust off and park the bike for a while but don't leave it sitting in the driveway that was grandma though I miss her I'm thinking about her a lot lately she would have been 99 this month if she is still alive anyway earth sign friends Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I had to stop and think for a second. I don't know why. I almost said Libra, Aquarius. I, I don't know. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. These cards are not feeling it today. Come on, one more. The lovers and the three of wands. Powerful connection felt by both of you. But one or the other of you has decided to walk away from the dock for whatever reason and no longer wait for it. Okay. Rewind. Nine of cups upright, empress reversed. You were so happy. But it wasn't going to go anywhere. Mm. Or maybe you felt like it wasn't going anywhere. Mm. Fast forward a little. Prince of Wands and the Moon. Oh boy. Could have been dealing with a player. There was a lot of unknowns. Okay. Things not said. Air of Mystery, Smoke and Mirrors, Dark Water, okay. And this weekend, yep, Prince of Cups reversed and the Star reversed. Somebody could well be saying the heck with it and walking away. I no longer have a cup for you. Mm. 
breaking the connection or trying to. I think someone was left very wounded by this in need of a healing. Why is the star reversed here? Prince of Swords reversed. Somebody's cutting communication off. Going back to the I no longer have a cup for you. I'm blocking you off of all of my social media. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to deal with you. I'm done with you. Why is Prince Wands here? Four of Wands. <sighs> Stability, celebration, doors opening. Someone may have had more than one door of opportunity. And they may have been walking through more than one opportunity door regularly. Hmm. Why is the moon here? Or they had 11 and 11 connection that they had to deal with. They may have been connected with someone else. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Queen of, uh, sorry, Queen of Pentacles in the upright. Queen of Cups in the reverse. The moon. Yeah. Speaking of doors of opportunity. Wow, you're saying the heck with it. It wasn't taking off, it wasn't going anywhere. And I think then you found out why. And you've decided to walk away from the dock because you're not waiting for this to go anywhere. Okay. You're cutting it off this weekend saying enough's enough. Let's get your advice. The chariot and the tower, both in the upright. You. Put the distance there. Just get your chariot and go. And let the tower fall. Kick the Lego tower over. Kick it over. Maybe they kicked yours over first. Mm. Wow. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to give you more advice. I don't think you need any more, though. Ace of Swords in the reverse. Seven of Cups in the reverse. Cut off communication. Don't even let them be an option. You deserve better than this. Like, for real. You deserve a connection that makes you happy that will fulfill you, that you don't have to wonder about. Maybe this was your soul lesson. Okay. I think that's it, Earth signs. Let's move to the air signs. Wow, they got busy in a hurry. Mm. Mm. Well, you guys are going to be having one heck of a weekend. Mm. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's going on with you guys this weekend?
Six of Wands in the upright, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Victory after the battle. I'm hearing revoking the offer, taking it off the table, and not apologizing about it. Okay. Well, let's rewind. What happened? Six of Cups in the upright, Page of Pentacles in the reverse. This is somebody you've been kicking it with for a minute. Someone from your past. Could have been a past life. Could have been this life. But it didn't go much of anywhere. Ground to a halt. Or the offer was never given. <sighs> Death and the Wheel of Fortune. Something could have changed in the relationship, possibly for the better. It evolved. Upward turn of events. Let me throw a clarifier on that. That's interesting. Three of Wands in the reverse and the Six of Swords in the reverse. Victory after the battle. No apologies. Offers off the table. That's an interesting scenario. Somebody walking away from the dock just in time for that ship to come back in. Let's get a little clarity. This just got good. Why is the Page of Pentacles reversed here? Five of Cups reversed. Someone was still coming out of a state of sadness. Someone couldn't see the blessings in the situation as they were scattering to try to pick up what was dumped out of the cups. You may have had a friend kip, kick your cups over. Someone may have put an offer out there and it was rejected, caused sadness. Okay. Why is death here? I mean, I know why death's here, but we're going to throw a clarifier on it anyway. Why is death here? Gave me three. High Priestess reversed. Eight of Wands in the upright. Four of Wands in the upright. This happened probably very quickly and abruptly. Things changed. Someone may have been a little bit egotistical. Someone may have found harmony with someone else. Built a foundation elsewhere. Quick forward movement. Somebody may have moved away quickly. Left quickly. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Emperor. 
someone did very well, got their crap together. Large and in charge of their own life. Took control. Said, okay, I'm going to do my victory dance and I'm not going to apologize for it. Offers off the table. You want to go, go. Seven of Pentacles, yet they waited patiently. Fast forward to this weekend. Someone's getting sick of waiting and walk away from the dock. Can I get one for the three of wands reversed, please? Locking the door. Things left unsaid. Burdens left unreleased. You're going to hold on to it. So you're doing more than walking away from the dock. You're pulling the dock out of the water at this point. You're just... You're done. But then the Six of Swords comes in, reversed. Why is the Six of Swords reversed here? The Hierophant. One more. Okay, I'll take four. That's fine. Moon, Page of Cups reversed, the Magician, and the Three of Swords reversed. Yeah, you manifested that return just in time, didn't you? You were pulling the dock out of the water. Saying, I'm not going to allow myself to be heartbroken by this anymore. I'm emotionally closing myself off to it because there was just too many unknowns. And yet, because you waited so patiently, I love you, I miss you, I want you back. The return happens. Somebody who's coming back for that blessed union because you manifested their return. Maybe that's your victory dance this weekend. And maybe part of that victory dance is, well, too little, too late. All depends on you. It's not my story. I just read the cards, guys. Let's get your advice. The Seven of Wands and Justice. You are the one in control of whether this knocks you off balance or not. You're in control of your own balance and your own destiny. You're in control of your own mind. The Four of Pentacles reversed and the King of Wands reversed. If y'all decide you want to release some things and let some things go, it may be best to do it in a non-confrontational manner. But don't let it stop you from moving forward. The Five of Wands upright and the Two of Wands in the reverse. Reiterating it again. 
Don't let the confrontation hold you back and keep you at the crossroads. Decide what you're going to do and do it. That's what I have for you. <sighs> Just in time. Okay. Thank you, my friends, for stopping by. I appreciate you. Hmm. Not sure what all I'm going to be able to get done this weekend. I might try to get some readings out for July. All Zodiac signs, I apologize, are only going to be able to get one reading this month. Probably for July and August. Possibly September. It depends on what the next couple of months brings. I'm not going to lie. I'm not well. But I'm not going to quit either. I just got to slow down a little bit. So... If I don't see you before that, I will see you guys Sunday night for your work week top and bottom of the deck. Be blessed. Have a wonderful weekend. Love you to bits. Catch you next time.